Spike Nation, it's your host Marcus. I'm back bringing you another onboarding video. So sign in and meet me on the other side. All right, we have a special video cooking up straight off the onboarding menu for the data enthusiasts today. That's right, today we will be covering the Excel plugin. Yep, that's right, you heard that correct, the Excel plugin. Yes, we have that. If you did not know, we have that. So what you find in Zoho, all this information, all these stats, you know, columns, you can transfer this directly over into Excel, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So step one to downloading the Excel plugin, first you have to download Microsoft Excel. So once you do that, come back and join us. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, you can open up Excel. And then step two, you'll need to log in. You can see at the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see it has my name there where you can sign in. All right, so after signing in, you'll want to go to the insert tab. You'll probably start off at the home tab, but just go to the insert tab. And in the insert tab, you will find get add-ins. So click get add-ins. And once you click get add-ins, you'll see this web page or this browser open up, right? So in here, it's very simple. You'll just type in Spike Eat, S P I K E E T. Now, as you can see, we have the Spike Eat plugin for Excel. Click Add. Hit Continue. And you'll see on the right hand corner of the screen your basic information will pop up asking for your email and password. So we'll just quickly put this in. All right, now that we're logged in, you can see we have our scans popping up. So overextended gap downs, large cap gappers, earnings plays, large cap gappers. And you can see we have view daily updates, earnings play updates, large cap gapper uh, daily updates. And you see on this one, we actually don't have it because we don't have it enabled. So I'll show you that, you know, back in the scans in Spikey, you can see here, these are the list of the scans we have. So you can see it's in order, overstanding gap downs, large cap gappers, earnings plays, large cap gappers. And over here, it says disable daily updates, um, but we have it enabled. So uh, you can just look at the emblem until we have it enabled, but this one's not enabled and that's why it didn't pop up in there. So if we head back over to Excel, I can show you what this data looks like. It means exactly as you would expect. You click and the data just comes streaming through at lightning fast speeds. So yeah, and you can see if you have the same name twice, if you look down at this bottom, this is large cap gappers, but this is also large cap gappers. It just says spikey.com, you know, with a two. Uh, so if you cannot have the same name for scan because it won't pop up on the tab, that's how it functions in Excel. So that's just a quick note. But as you can see, we have all our data. Cool. Look, we even got the news. Earnings plays, large caps. Uh, came through Lightning Fast. It's a very reliable app. I mean, it functions just as you expect. And then you get into Excel where you can run data analysis and things of that nature. So very, very good tool to have on your side. So now what I want to show you guys is the view daily updates. So I think this is really cool and really useful. The way we have this set up is absolutely amazing. So for example, if I wanted to view the earnings plays, right? So you can see I have the earnings plays for all the date after I had set the scan up. So if I want to click 601, I'll get the information for that. And as you can see, earnings plays 2023. So you're going to see earnings plays 2023. It tells you date 531. So it gives me all the earnings plays that happened here. Uh, and I have the gap percent, you know, just to show you guys, you can feel, you can do all the basic functions, right? So I can filter, I can put a filter here. And with that filter, I can then say filter by greatest, smallest, the largest, largest, smallest, and non-filter by gap percent. I mean, you can even get rid of these like greater than one, less than four. 
and now you got rid of those ones that didn't meet the criteria, you can do all the functionality that you can in Excel with the data. It, it, it automatically updates. So for example, what I use this for, and I think this is really cool. I use this for after I do a historical study and I want to see how that historical study performs in the future or forward testing it. I don't have to go collect the data samples manually. You know, I don't have to watch it or anything like that. I literally just turn on daily updates. I download all the stuff into a separate sheet, just like you see now. So imagine this said earnings cap gappers, and then I'll have the stuff afterwards. So this would be my historical study. This would be my forward study. And I would just next day after that, next day after that, next day after that, and I will upload my template. And here's another good thing. Um, you, it, it does every single day, but you know, obviously some days. So this day, 603 was a Saturday, right? So if I go here, 603 was a Saturday. There's no data because the market's not open. So, I mean, obviously that makes sense why there's no information here. 604 is going to be the same thing. Monday, the stock market opened back up. So now we have more data. You can also, if you ever run into issues here, there is a reload button, the top right. So click the settings to access that. But there's a reload button. Also some other things. And then you can get back here. So if something ever happens where you can't access the data or your scans on the side, there's a reload button. Okay. So just to show you um, what it looks like when you run a scan. So if I run a quick scan and click app template, I'll just run this small. Well, actually, we'll just rerun a scan. I think that's probably the quickest way to show this. So I'll rerun this overextended gap down scan. I'll click edit. I'll just click run scan. Actually, yeah, I'll just click run scan. That's fine. Do you want to overwrite the existing data? Sure. Doesn't matter if that gets deleted. And you can see it says pending in here. And now it says 12%. It's moving pretty fast. Now, if I go over to here, you'll see it's yellowed out. And you can't click on it when it is it's pending and the scan is not complete. So you see it's kind of yellow right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it'll turn green once it's done. Very simple, very easy, very reliable. Uh, I think it's an amazing plugin. Definitely another reason to get to Quant Yearly. I cannot preach this enough. The Quant Yearly, you get this plugin, you get to download all the data, you get to save it. It gets into Excel. You can analyze it and use the program. You know, so now you can see that you know we're done. So if I wanted to get this data, boom. So you don't actually need to check your emails or log into the web page and go into the my app and see if your scan is done. I mean, you can just go into the Excel and just look, you know, once you're logged into the Excel, you don't actually need to log in again. All right, Spike Nation, we showed you how to install the cell plugin and showed you how to use it. So with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, and let us know if you like, you know, filling these videos and you think they're a good use.